Hello! Let's have a look at a very simple tool which is surprisingly useful sometimes. It's the rectangular marquee tool which is over here on the left. And it's normally visible but if you can't see it you can just right click on there. You know, maybe there's the freehand selected if you'd used that before. Right click on it and then select the rectangular marquee tool. Then make sure the mode is one you want, so new or add for example. And um, then you can just literally hold down the mouse key, uh, button left, click and drag and then let go of the button and there you go. And that's as simple as that. Uh, it's that easy. Let's have a look at uh, some examples of what how we can use that. So one way is to select a rectangular area you want to work with. So let's select this wall here. And it doesn't quite fit, so there's an area here, so what can we do? One way to do that is with the Refine. So click on the Refine over there, and let's just bring up the menu so we can see it. We don't need to change anything. It normally starts off with a mat, select selected there, and that's what we want. Then we want a brush, about this size is good. And then we'll just paint down here, oops, and there we go, paint a bit area more. And you often paint this in sections. There we go, and it's pretty good. It's selected that right away. And just click apply on that, and there's the wall selected. We can go in and tidy up a little bit if we want. So that's a good way of doing it. Let's look, have a look at another method. And let's do this one here. We're going to select this window. So I'm going to go over the window there. But of course, it's an angle, so I need to chop out these triangles. So if I right click on this and go down the freehand selection, make sure I've got the uh, the polygonal tool selected and go to subtract mode or hold on the alt in add mode, then alt and click down here, draw a line across there, out to here and double click. Let's remove that, the same down here and click and out to here and double click out there and there you go I've selected that window. I don't know how about another one these are quite good let's try we'll go right click again back to the rectangular marquee control D to get rid of that and we'll try and select the sky so we'll left click on that so we can go down the wall and just Click on the areas just outside and let's use a selection brush. So we'll click on that and we want to subtract from up there so that when we paint on the edges here, so we just click and paint. And we notice that by this, by the way, we've also got snap to edges here so that it automatically just takes out the bits we don't want. Uh, we can go up there like that. There you go, there's the sky selected. Again, some little tidying up may be needed, but it's mostly done in a very, very quickly. So, Control D to get rid of that. And let's just do one more thing that we can do with this. So, with the rectangular tool selected, let's go up here and we'll select. And if I'm in position carefully, I'm looking at the rulers where, where things are up here, because that shows me the mouse. So, let's go about 100 either way there. Uh, we can drag down here until it's about a hundred away from that and a hundred away from that. So there we go, that's a fairly reasonable border. Now what I'm going to do is a select and invert the pixel selection or control shift I. Now I'm selecting the border area. And I'm going to come down here and click on this little thing down here to add a pixel layer which I've now got up here so that I can now take the flood fill tool make sure I've got black selected up here that's his and then just click within that and there you go I put a border on the picture I could do that any color I like but let's do a control D we don't need that anymore but what we can do because it's on a separate layer we can play with the opacity 
So if we turn that down, we get a kind of interesting semi-opaque border on it. So there you go. That's just a few of the things that you can do with the Marquee Rectangular Selection Tool. Thanks for watching.